the latest release of Fortson makes some dramatic changes to the layout and we want you to be aware of that before you upgrade to version 1.40. This what you're seeing here is the new layout. Previously we tried to utilize the Moodle, um, the, the kind of like the header area to display custom images and we just weren't happy with it. So uh, we did a couple of mock-ups, we kept looking at it and trying to refine it so that we could come up with a simple, clean, and very functional design. And what we've done is we've combined the header area with the main page content. And what that does is it provides one box the top part all the way to the bottom for the user to interact with. So when you go to look at courses, you'll notice here's your breadcrumbs, manage courses. And once you jump into a course, instead of the, the header image fighting with the site, the course title, the breadcrumbs, and, and the menu items, we just decided to move it outside put it behind the content and that way it provides a visual cue for the learner that hey I'm in a different course I'm in Mr. Harrison's sandbox here this is our uh, demonstration site and so you can see when I hop around from course to course I have a visual cue that I'm in somewhere different um, that was very important for us and we think with this new design the new layout moving forward um, it'll be very, very um, uh, advantageous to our students and staff. Uh, just to go over one of the um, some of the new settings, and we'll hop on over to Fortson. Um, under the custom image settings, there are two new items: uh, the header height image. Okay, that's just a, a drop down. This controls the height of the background header image here. Now the learning content spacing controls the, the spacing between the top bar and where your learning materials reside. So if you increase this, it will get a little bit bigger and I'll do something a little drastic. Save changes and you can see how you now have more space between the top and the bottom. You can see right here that space just got a little bit bigger. Okay, so those are the settings right here. And one new thing that came up uh, in some discussions was the ability to turn off um, allowing teachers to upload their own images. Some people just want one image for the entire site. All you have to do is uncheck this box and you can upload your own image here. As you can see, we have a chalkboard um, or you can use the default one. Um, and I'll just unload that. And if you uncheck this, all sites, all courses will use the same image. We can take a look at that. And here it goes, it's clearing its caches. And now you can see it uses the default Fortson header image. And no matter where we go, it will only utilize the one image. That's not to say that when the, when the person is on the course pages here, the course categories, you can you can see the custom image, however, it does not utilize that for the background. So that is the major change happening to Fortson, and uh, we hope it doesn't throw you off. We just think it's a brand new theme. There's only 400 people registered as using it, and so we hope that uh, this isn't too big of a bump in the road. It's early on. And uh, we think you're really going to like the direction that we're taking this, um, especially if you have a need to do custom enrollments. 
uh, we have this great new feature where you can actually um, use our easy enrollment plugin and you it generates random codes for every course and every group and you can simply t have your users type in the uh, pass code here click enroll and you are instantly transported to that course um, so this is the latest version of Fortson and uh, we hope you like this design change that we've we've made uh, we didn't want to go too far down the road and not be happy uh, with with the layout it just wasn't working and we think uh, based on our feedback that the teachers will really enjoy this this new design uh, much more so than the direction we were heading in so thank you for watching and I uh, hope you enjoy Fortson